what is going on everyone my name is nick or the notorious fantasy and in today's video we're going to be talking about some 2022 fantasy football keeper league stashes inside today's video we're going to be breaking down five different players individually that i believe you guys should be going ahead and going to the waiver wire right now to pick up because of their upside for the 2022 fantasy football season but before we could get into things i would like to ask if you are new to the channel and you do end up enjoying today's video to please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below not only is it free we put out content every single day to help you guys win your 2021 fantasy football championship and in today's video i'm gonna go ahead and try to help you guys win your 2022 fantasy football championship as well as if you are new to the channel or not please make sure that you do hit that like button down below to help boost this video up the algorithm so more beautiful people like yourself can see today's video so without further ado let's get into my 2022 keeper league stashes we begin with michael thomas wide receiver of the new orleans saints michael thomas has not played a single snap this season so it is very possible that the player who had michael thomas in your fantasy league just cut him, was sick and tired of that after they waited six, seven, eight weeks for him to go ahead and return, for him to just say, you know what, I'm done this season. Maybe they let go of him, so he could be available off your waiver wire. While he's not going to be a single ounce of help this season in 2022, it is very possible that, in my opinion, he is a top three round pick and is a guy that could finish as a top five wide receiver for 2022 fantasy football. He is tied down to the New Orleans Saints through the 2024 NFL season and in 2025 he becomes a UFA now it is entirely possible that Michael Thomas does end up getting traded in this offseason there have been a lot of rumors a lot of talk about Michael Thomas potentially getting traded from the Saints from the 2020 season all the way until the 2021 NFL season so it is definitely potential all the way until the 2021 NFL season, so it is definitely possible that he could end up getting moved this offseason. In the last season where he actually played over seven games was in 2019, in which he had 149 receptions on 185 targets for 1,725 yards and nine total touchdowns. We all know just how good Michael Thomas could be when healthy, and in 2022, if he is healthy, whether he's on the Saints or not, I believe that Michael Thomas just has so much value. So if he's available on your waiver wire why wouldn't you pick him up with the upside that he has in 2022 the next player that I want to be talking about as a keeper league stash is Will Fuller wide receiver of the Miami Dolphins Will Fuller is an unrestricted free agent after this season and could easily be gone from the Miami Dolphins in this offseason this year he's only played in two games having four receptions on eight targets for 26 yards I think a lot of people who have Will Fuller on their team or had Will Fuller on their team, we're just sick and tired of this bullshit. It seems like every single week we're talking ourselves into, oh, Will Fuller's going to be back this week. And then Brian Flores is, you know, he just pushes the narrative back. He says, oh, maybe next week. And then the next week comes and, oh, Will Fuller's not going to play, but maybe next week. And then it keeps getting pushed and pushed and pushed until we're sitting here right now in week number 14. And I have no idea if Will Fuller is even going to play another snap for the Dolphins this season. In 2020, he played in 11 games prior to getting suspended for the PEDs on the Houston Texans, having 53 receptions on 75 yards for 879 yards and eight touchdowns. There are plenty of teams that could go ahead and look to sign Will Fuller this offseason. There's also potential that he does end up re-signing with the Miami Dolphins. And with how good Tua Tunga Vailoa has looked down the stretch, and if the Miami Dolphins are able to build up a solid offensive line, even if Will Fuller isn't the number one target, which I doubt he will be, I think that Jalen Waddle will be next season, just like this season then Will Fuller still does have some huge play upside for the Miami Dolphins and could easily finish as a top 24 wide receiver. Now, you can also talk, your, talk yourself into the fact that Will Fuller, you know, leaves the Dolphins and then maybe he goes to, you know, the Chiefs. Maybe he goes to the Packers. Maybe he goes somewhere else where he could be the true number one or number two wide receiver on the team. And if that is the case, then the upside of Will Fuller is even higher. And maybe he could finish as a top 12 receiver in 2022 which is something that your league mate probably wasn't thinking about when they cut Wilt Fuller off of their team. So go ahead and pick him up right now. 
get him for free because again he does potentially have top 24 upside next season the next player to discuss as a 2022 keeper league stash is Chris Carson running back of the Seattle Seahawks while Seattle has a potential out on Chris Carson's contract in 2022 which is next season I believe that the team will keep him prior to his injury this season he only played in four games having 54 rushes for 232 yards and three rushing touchdowns he also had six receptions on six targets for 29 yards when healthy Chris Carson has the upside of being a top 12 running back a top 14 running back which we have seen throughout his NFL career lots of people will go ahead and call Chris Carson an injury prone running back that oh he gets hurt every year and technically that's true he has been getting banged up but he has played over 12 games per season besides this season since 2018 so I think that that narrative is kind of widespread while somewhat true because he does get banged up every year it's not like he's missing a majority of the season every single year and if Seattle ends up keeping Chris Carson I do believe that he'll be heavily utilized next season but before we could break down the next keeper league stash I would like to let you guys know that we have partnered with Yahoo Fantasy this NFL season to bring you guys some great offers check out our exclusive limited time offer which gets you guys one free month of all Osmo Plus Platinum. To qualify, you need to be new to Yahoo. Sign up for an account via the link down below. Deposit and play. That's it. Yahoo will send us your name after you play in your first paid contest, and we'll reach out to you via email with your coupon. If you would like immediate access, that's okay as well. All you got to do is email support at Osmo.com, and we will get you set up immediately. You can also claim a free $10 of site credit by clicking the link in the video description down below, which could be used to enter any Yahoo contest, including Sunday's $1 million NFL baller. Make sure to use our DFS tools and projections designed specifically for Yahoo to give you guys the best shot at winning big. Please make sure that you check out Yahoo Fantasy. The links are down below in the description. The next Keeper League stash to discuss in today's video is Justin Fields, quarterback of the Chicago Bears. Fields has shown plenty of good as well as plenty of bad over his rookie season in 2021. In some games, you see this massive upside that, oh wow, look at Justin Fields. This is a guy that could easily be a top five quarterback maybe next year and going forward. And then you see other games where he looks like complete and utter horse shit. And in these good games, we see him rushing the ball a little bit more. For instance, in week number eight up against the San Francisco 49ers, we saw Fields go 19 of 27 for 176 passes passing yards with one touchdown and an interception as well as rushing for 103 yards on 10 rushes and getting a rushing touchdown in that game and then like I said that was the good but there's also the bad and it's easy to see because just one week before week number eight in week number seven up against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers he was struggling immensely 22 completions on 32 attempts for 184 passing yards and not one not two but three interceptions he also had eight rushes for 83 yards in that game now my assumption is that Matt Nagy gets fired in this offseason or that Matt Nagy doesn't make it till the end of this season and they can him. This guy has completely stunted the potential of Justin Fields. I believe that any other person that could become the head coach of the Chicago Bears is better than Matt Nagy. I honestly think you could pull the average Bears fan off the fucking couch who's been drinking some beers and you throw him as the head coach or her as the head coach. And they will do a better job than Matt Nagy. This guy is a certified bozo, and I think if they get rid of him, then Justin Fields' upside is immense, even if Allen Robinson does end up leaving in the offseason. Final Keeper League stash to discuss in today's video is Amon Ross St. Brown, wide receiver of the Detroit Lions. With so many moving parts in Detroit, it is very possible that since they've been so bad this season, and it's very likely that they have the number one overall pick in the 2022 NFL draft, that they end up drafting a quarterback which should help out Amon Ross St. Brown if they don't end up doing that maybe they go ahead and fortify the O-line or they get some better pieces on the team if the team just gets better overall in the offseason and through the 2022 NFL draft even if Goff is the quarterback it's definitely going to be better than this season, right? Things can't get much worse than just how shit the Lions have been this year. St. Brown has been inconsistent all season long, but I believe with better quarterback play or an increase uh, in team skill overall, if the team is just better, then I think that St. Brown could take a huge leap in his sophomore season in the NFL. Last week up against the Minnesota Vikings in their first win of the season, huge round of applause for the Minnesota Vikings. He had 10 receptions on 12 targets for 86 yards and a touchdown in that matchup. I believe that that St. Brown does have the potential to next year potentially be a late round pick that has a lot of upside and potentially smashes as a top 24 wide receiver. But 
why even draft them then when you could just pick them up right now? You can just get them for free. And if the hype train starts, because we know every single year in the offseason, some of these players get that hype train in the offseason. And Amon Ross St. Brown's ADP might just skyrocket if a bunch of beat reports come out and the team looks a lot better. So go ahead and pick him up right now for free. You may even be able to play him this week and going forward if he continues to be consistent. So go ahead and pick up Amon Ross St. Brown with the potential that he could be your keeper in 2022. So thank you guys all so much for watching today's video. If you did end up enjoying, please make sure that you do hit that subscribe button down below as well as hitting that like button. I would appreciate it a ton. I love you guys all so much. I hope you have a great rest of your guys day and please make sure that you check out yahoo fantasy also follow me on twitter at notorious fntsy love you guys all so much have a great rest of your guys day Good